So, as everybody knows about mocap, we see there's a lot of demand when it comes to the motions that the actor needs to convey for the camera to pick up. But could you tell us a little bit more about the physical demand it has on the talent and some of the residual effects it may have on you? Yeah, I mean, uh, having played now Caesar over the course of three movies, um, and and played him kind of from from infancy all the way through to to you know a statesman like character and, and in in the latter part of adulthood, you know, um, and an elite and becoming this leader. That it's had each movie's had its own physical challenges. When when I was playing the toddler Caesar and the young infant Caesar, that was very very physically demanding because of his quick energy and quadrupeding and. And, and as he's grown older, um, there's uh, there's been he's evolved linguistically, you know, the the, the use of language and so on and so forth, um, more complex kind of emotionally and psychologically. And and when you say when you say physically, I mean, for instance, in this last film in, in War, I mean, it was the most, it was very physically demanding, not not because I was quadrupeding around so much as, a, but but because of the weight psychological and emotional weight of the of the character that I was carrying throughout the movie and that that takes that does take its toll um, so so yeah I mean it's it, it, I suppose it changes and shifts the actual the actual um, the challenges the physical psychological and emotional challenges change from each have changed through each movie absolutely and from the teaser trailer the the emotional depth and the the vexing state that Caesar is in is very much conveyed to the audience now, you have been in a lot of famous properties, both as an actor and as an iconic voice. Now, to say if a certain property, for example, Schmeagel, was to meet Caesar, what kind of conversation would that have and how would that go? I can see where this is going. <laughs> you wanting me to do a little bit of Schmeagel and a little bit of Caesar. And I think Caesar would probably say, You are trying to con me. No, he's not precious. <laughs> I can die happy now. That's phenomenal. So, in this third film, I want to say this has been a war you said both physically between the humans and the and the primates. But it, in addition to that, there's been a physical, there's been an intellectual war that he's having as he's he's developing, and he's advancing. How did you manage to kind of push yourself through that and not let it affect you as a person? You you've been doing this character for so long. I mean, the thing is, you, you, what you're doing as an actor is you are tricking your mind and your body uh, uh, you know, into feeling these emotions for real, for the camera. So you, you're, you're chemically changing your body. You are ke you know, chemically going through those processes. So, so it does affect you, and you do carry it with you. And so there's always a, a sort of a decompression period after, after the movies where you have to sort of resettle and sort of rebalance the computer, if you like. I mean, so it does, it does, it, um, it does cost. You know, it costs you in all ways. Is there a particular trick you have for settling? Um, uh, well, you know, uh, um, yeah, a lot of kind of R and R, really, and sort <laughs> of uh, massage therapy, and uh, I mean, because you go, I mean, actually, all of the guys playing the apes in this, go, uh, you know, their the, the bodies are kind of racked by the end of it. You know, you you've got to kind of treat treat the body with respect because it, 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 we go through it. You know. Well, thank you very much, Andy. We are so very much looking forward to July. We can't wait, and thank you.